Hello everybody and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk and Wentworth CCTV of New England and we are coming at you today with a video on artificial intelligent AI motion activated recording. You just saw a second ago an individual walk up to this storefront and in that blue box uh, when he entered that box you saw uh, a red alarm activated. That is artificial intelligence and what it does it allows your DAWA um, SMD smart motion detection camera or your heat vision AccuSense camera to recognize the difference between people and vehicles and other things in the environment okay if you have recorded on motion in the past and there was a storm and it was windy uh, flags cardboard pieces or cans that blew across your screen um, you know, heavy rain, heavy snow, those types of environmental factors would trigger motion recording. And that was extremely uh, frustrating because when that happened, you'd receive the motion alerts, right? And it got to the point sometimes where people didn't even pay attention uh, to their systems because, you know, the, the motion alert process was so ineffective, okay? So what AI does in smart motion detection is, is it allows those alerts to be real. If you get an alert, you know it's a person or vehicle. Uh, and that's valuable, right? It's a virtual alarm system. The other thing it does is it stretches out the hard drive, okay? Uh, a lot of people today, they're doing away with NVRs and they're using these new IP cameras as standalone devices. Um, you know, you could have eight cameras at a home uh, and none of them connected to an NVR. They're all connected to a PoE switch. They all have micro SD cards and onboard storage. Um, and, and, the motion is recorded on that micro SD card in the camera. Uh, it's unbelievable. And when you have smart motion detection in most locations, those cards can last 60 days, folks. Um, so what we do by eliminating the garbage uh, recordings um, and recording things that are important to us, we stretch out those days, okay? Um, so SMD and AI is very important. Our videos in the past have been very basic. They've been on how to hook up IP cameras or analog cameras. We covered DVRs and NVRs and the various phone apps, you know, HIK Connect and that was DMSS, the client software, um, so on and so forth. What we're going to do now is dive into the more advanced things, the dealer type things, installer things, such as artificial intelligence. We're going to show you how to hook this up properly. We're going to do it all right now. All right, what do you say? Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of, of your screen. Please click that and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so. Also, like the video if it's useful to you. And as always, leave comments. A lot of these videos are based on user and subscriber, viewer questions and comments. So yes, artificial intelligence is a relatively new tool that is available with both Heek Vision and DAWA technologies. With DAWA, it's the SMD Smart Motion Detection Series. With Heek Vision, they obviously have the AccuSense Series. We are going to do this demo today with a DAWA um, SMD camera. Okay, it's on your screen right now. That's the part number. There's also a link in the description of this video uh, that allows you to purchase this exact camera. It comes with or can be ordered with a professional junction box. I highly recommend that. I have seen in the field a lot of people using the plastic pigtail weatherproof connectors that come with the cameras. Um, those aren't going to work long term. Okay, you want to install it professionally with a junction box. Um, there's a picture on the screen right now of what that would look like. Um, but that's how you want your work represented. Um, so yeah, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to close this live view window and we are going to head to a dashboard which is right here this is the da dashboard for dawa's smart pss client software if you have not yet downloaded dawa smart pss uh, software for your pc uh, for your laptop there's a link going across the top of your screen right now um, that entails that process. You have to download the software. You have to import your camera or your NVR to the software using the P2P serial number uh, or the QR code provided with, with the camera. And again, that 
video that, that I just gave you the link for uh, will walk you through that process. All right, the first thing we are going to do, um, we are in the dashboard. As you can see, there is a configuration row at the bottom of your menu. And one of those options right here in the bottom, the second icon, is device config, okay? We're gonna click that box. And that will bring us uh, to the configuration interface. And that lists any DAWA, uh, IP camera and VR DVR that you have connected to your DAWA Smart PSS. Um, this is the camera we were looking at earlier. So I'm going to click that camera. And when I do, you will see a um, information on the camera appears in this box. And we're going to wait till both of these boxes become blue. Okay. Right here in the middle on the top, you'll see upgrade and you'll see link to web. This link to web button is amazing. What it will do is it will connect this camera to your browser, okay? You'll be able to open up the camera in a browser uh, and assess its configuration uh, interface to a browser. Heat Vision has nothing like that. This is an amazing feature. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to hit this link to web button, and you will see that the software is going to open the camera in a browser and we'll be able to log into that directly. All right, as you can see, we are back at the login screen. Okay, we've hit device config and uh, told it to open in a web browser, and here we are. So we're gonna enter the password that you created when you activated the camera. These cameras today, they do not ship with a default password anymore. You have to create the password when you activate the camera. Once we log into the browser, we're going to go to the settings tab. And under that settings tab, uh, you'll see a list of options to your left. One of those options is network. Okay. If you hit the, oh, I don't want network. We want event. Okay. So right here is event. When we hit event, we're going to have our recording emotion detection settings. Okay. The first one is video detection. So we're going to click video detection. And when we do that, a box will come up. I do apologize with this uh, DAWA Smart PSS. When you operate um, and configure the camera to a browser, there is a little bit of a lag. And uh, I can't do anything about that, but it is manageable and it's useful. So once we're in the video detection settings, the first thing we want to do is make sure that motion detection is enabled, okay? When you enable motion detection, we'll be able to work with the SMD, which is the smart motion detection settings. That is what will allow us to differentiate between people and vehicles and other obstacles. There's also IVS in the smart plan. That, those are your artificial intelligence settings where you can set up your tripwire and intrusion boxes. Okay, we'll talk about that. The reason I bring that up is you cannot have motion detection, SMD, and AI enabled at the same time. It needs to be one or the other, okay? So what we're gonna do, we've enabled regular motion detection and smart motion detection. Um, we can tell it what period we want this active for. In other words, if your business is open, say from 6 a.m. until 4 p.m. on a Sunday, and you only want the camera recording during non-business hours, um, which might be the case, all you have to do is highlight that area here, okay? So we open at eight, and we're open until, I forget what I said, but let's go to four. Um, it actually blacked out the whole thing. So now we're gonna have to go and highlight it with the mouse by le left-clicking with the mouse. Um, so we'll go from eight until, Oh boy. So from midnight until eight, we want to record. Took my brain a minute to figure out what we're doing. So we're going to highlight that green and then we're going to go to four o'clock and we're going to highlight to midnight. Okay. So you see here, the green is telling it when to record. Okay. So from four o'clock when we close, we're going to go to midnight. Um, 
and then from zero to eight, okay, in the morning. So you could do that if you wanted. Um, I like to have it on all the time because something could happen of note during business hours, right? A slip or fall, an assault. Um, we'd hate to miss that on camera, okay? So if you want to schedule your motion detection recordings and alerts, that's how you do that, okay? The next thing that you would be interested with um, is the area, okay? This takes a second again when you do it this way remotely, but if you hit the settings beside area, this will bring up a picture of your facility and it will put a motion detection grid over it, which we can adjust sensitivity, okay? This will take a second to come up, what's allowed it to do so. All right, so here is our picture and as you can see it is highlighted in red. Um, indicating motion. Um, how you adjust the sensitivity, you see it's on 60. Um, there is a, a bar um, and you can see it over here. Anything that is motion um, will show up as red above this median line. Okay. This is how you adjust your sensitivity real time. Okay. Uh, again, SMD and smart motion should take care of that for you. It should just be people and vehicles. Um, but we'll wait a second and see if a car happens to come down this road um, so you can see that red. Okay. Nothing's coming by right now. Um, but, but that's how you adjust the sensitivity according to the environment. Okay. So if a car or person did not trigger the motion and you saw the red here, um, say it was something else, which again shouldn't be happening with SMD, um, you can adjust sensitivity. You could slide it down to 50 or 40. Okay. Um, you can also zone out areas, okay? If we didn't like this grid, say we just wanted it to record in the area of the door, okay? Um, we could remove our grid, okay? And of course, car drives by, right? Um, and then we could highlight, okay? We could highlight just the door area. And then motion for people would just be triggered when they go through the door, okay? That's how you do that part. So we'll hit cancel there. And that is how you enable motion detection and set up your time period um, as well as your detection area. Okay. SMD, the next option down, um, we would want to enable that, right? So we're only catching video and triggering video for humans and motor vehicles. And again, you can adjust your sensitivity there. I like medium. It seems to work well. So that's where we'll leave it. Um, and, and that one enabled, again, you're only going to record for people and vehicles. If we disable and hit save, um, motion detection would still be enabled, um, but everything is going to trigger it, not just the people and vehicles. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so we definitely want that enabled. So that covers, that covers um, the SMD part. Now, let's talk about... Um, artificial intelligence. Okay. We already said we want to disable that. Okay. You cannot have motion detection and artificial intelligent recording going at the same time. If you do that, the artificial intelligence will not work. It will default to the video detection. Okay. So we're going to come down here where it says smart plan and we're going to click that smart plan button. And when you do, um, you'll want this light bulb that indicates AI function to be highlighted, okay, and then hit save. That is enabling smart function, okay? And again, do so, detection recording will have to be shut off. The next thing we're gonna do, you'll see this tab that says IVS right here. This is where we will set up our AI um, guidelines, okay? You have two options. There's a tripwire and intrusion. Okay. I like the tripwire personally. What that is when a person crosses a plane, okay, it triggers motion. It triggers motion. Hopefully you can see this box here. Okay. Earlier in the video during the introduction, we saw someone enter that box and you saw it turn red. And the person was highlighted with a square and it kind of tracked them for a while. That's what we want. That's an intrusion box. And so how you draw that, okay. We'll clear this for you. And how you draw it is you hit draw rule. And you're going to use your mouse. Okay. You're going to left click with your mouse 
and it's going to draw a line. See that? You left click and then you lift when you're done with that segment. Hit the left button on your mouse again and then you can draw this part. You lift up on the mouse, click it again, draw this part, lift, and then draw this part. Once you've completed your square, you're going to double click with the mouse and then you're going to right click. And when you do that, um, this is a very faint uh, screen, but there is a, uh, there's a line here, okay, and it says IVMS. That means that that is active. So we want to save, okay? And right there, we have created a tripwire. Here you see the save has succeeded, okay? And, and in this mode, if you're in AI mode, cars driving by will no longer, or people walking by outside of this box, will no, no longer trigger an alarm event or a recording. Only people walking in this box will, okay? So that car passing didn't do anything, okay? We're not recording it. So what I would like to do now is we will go into the playback function, and I will show you how all this looks when you play back the video. All right, guys, we're in the home stretch here, playback. Um, I am back into the smart, the DAO smart PSS console, um, our client software. And as you can see, we have two options, live view and playback. Earlier, we demonstrated the live view and also device config. That's where we connected the camera uh, to a browser and made the configuration changes. So when we review video or recorded incidents, we want to go to playback, right? When you click playback, it will bring you to the screen where you can select your location and the time period, okay? So we're going to pick the location that we just played with the settings. Um, I'm going to go to the calendar, all right? So we picked them. And down here, you can pick the time and date by clicking on this calendar. And I'm gonna go to yesterday, because it was a it's a coffee shop and we're going to go to a time where they would be busy. So let's go from 10 until, I don't know, 1059. If my mouse will cooperate here. Okay. And now we can hit search. Okay. And it's going to bring up any video that is in that 10 o'clock to 10.59 time frame when they should have been busy. Um, and you will see there's a different color between artificial intelligence, which they have enabled during the day, and the normal motion detection recording, which is yellow. Okay. See, that's pretty much continual all day. Here we have little orange tick marks. And when I click on one of these tick click marks, if the SMD, smart motion detection, um, I'm sorry, artificial intelligence recording is working properly, on each of these ticks mark, tick marks, there should be a person or vehicle only. Okay, nothing else should be triggering these. So let's just, let's give it a whirl. Let's click here on this tick mark and see what plays. Oh, a person. That's good. That's a good sign. You'll see they triggered the tripwire um, and it's following them. Okay. Now this person inside, there's no square around them. They're not tripping the motion because they're not breaking our intrusion line. Now the video goes to the next segment and there's people. People set it off. We'll look at one more, the next one here at 1030 and make sure that is a person or vehicle as well. Actually, it won't be a vehicle through this trip wire, but we'll make sure it's just that. Yeah, we got somebody coming in. That's how it should record, folks, right? We've eliminated all the other junk. It's it's just people coming in, and, and that's what they want during business hours. That's how effective uh, artificial intelligence works. There's some more people coming in. Looks like it's working like it should. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, we'll see you in the field.